What do you do, y'all? Welcome to the Crypto Channel 339. Today's video is going to be a testing video, okay? So I'm planning. So once I reach 210 bucks, what I'm planning to do is use only 10 bucks to try this gamble, okay? So on this gamble, I'm going to use not 1% per trade, but 10% per trade, okay? So in order for me to uh, test this one, I'm going to use the demo account, okay, on real trading pairs, okay? So I'm going to start with 10 bucks. And if I uh, place 25 trades and win the 25 trades, I potentially will be, make a 10x of my 10 bucks. Okay, so it's going to be my first time trying it. So let's see how it goes. Um, obviously, when you place 10% of your total balance uh, to start with, that means you can only place 10 trades. After that, you're going to be out of the game. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so. We're gonna gamble 10 bucks and let's see how it goes. As you can see right here, this is the demo account, right? And uh, we're gonna look for trading pairs and let's see how it goes. So on the first trade, we're gonna use 10% of our balance, which is one buck, okay? And uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. And then as you go along, we are going to update the trading session, obviously, if we don't pass the balance of 10 bucks, then we're just going to stick to one buck per trade until the balance is bigger than 10 bucks. So once the balance is bigger than 10 bucks, we will come over here, place the new figure, and then we will have a new trading balance amounts. Okay. So right now we're going to look for opportunities and let's see if we can uh, place a few trades. Okay. This one right here looks really good uh quickly look okay yeah this one looks good seems like it's gonna dump a little bit so we're gonna place uh, a trade on this one so as you can see right here the volume is red so we're gonna place a trade on this one and uh, we're gonna see if this one is gonna play out as we expecting or not uh seems like it's not gonna play as we are expecting because the volume is decreasing we got a crossover on a stochastic and we have some green candles over here. So potentially this one um, will go up. And uh, in order to go up, I need a little bit more confirmation. Because on a two minutes chart, we can see we got some red bars over there. But this candle is getting weak, so which is a good sign. We're still in strong uptrend. Okay. So potentially the next one we're gonna have a flat bar right here so this one i think is going to be the case of a two minute candle so let's just wait for the candle to the price to pull back a little bit so we can place a trade let's see right there okay so we got one trade going on and uh, we can see the volume is decreasing I place two minutes trade uh, because uh, it might take some time for this price to crank up because we still have bearish momentum even though the two minute chart looks good looks bullish and uh, potentially this trade is going to be uh, a continuation to the upside all right so right now we are not winning this one and uh, we have this red candle over here we got the crossover and the stochastic so potentially this uh, will no longer be continuation to the upside because the volume is still negative so let me go ahead and place a trade over here so we got two trades going on so let me see if i can place another one if the price goes back up because uh seems like we're gonna have a pullback before a continuation to the upside all right so we got two trades going on the first one we are going to lose it because the price seems like it's going to go down and the second one potentially we are going to win it okay even though the signal is getting the volume is getting weak so let's see how this is going to play out all right so if we win this one we're going to make um 178 okay so we're going to be down a few cents so volume is getting weak and uh, we're going to place one to go up okay it's going up right now and uh, seems like we're going to win this first trade 
uh, we lost the, the, the down one, obviously. But seems like we're going to win the first one. We got it. Seems like we're potentially going to win these two as well. So if the price um, continues to push up, there you go. Doji candle right there. Signal is getting weak. So potentially uh, we're going to have a continuation to the upside. We got a very bullish candle over here. So uh, seems like we are going to be able to score these two trades as well. So if we do, uh, our balance... Oh, no. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. There you go. We lost those two. Okay, our balance is not going to be greater than 10 bucks. So, yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. Right, so this one um, is a bit shady right now. So let's flick around and let's see if we can find a better opportunity. Okay, the volume on this one is decreasing. So we potentially, or maybe it's not decreasing. Let me have a look at the two minute chart. Okay, so we had a, a dump, and now it's gaining momentum right there. So potentially this one is going to be a good one, but I feel like I'm too late for that one. So let's have a look around, and let's see if we can find... Okay, we got one over here. So this one looks good. We can see the bearish volume right there. Okay, so... I can also see the crossover on the stochastic right here. So everything indicates that the price potentially will have a continuation to the downside. Looking to the two minute chart, we can see crossover on the stochastic. We can see the volume has decreased and potentially um, will have a continuation to the downside before the price goes up again. Okay. So we got 26 seconds on the first trade volume still bearish okay 19 seconds let's hope that we can clear these two so we can um, stay in the game all right because um, we had a bad start oh price is close to let me place another one there so we got that one so we're still below 10 bucks all right so there is no point updating the, the spreadsheet balance. So we got this one going on, 44 seconds to go. Everything looks bearish. Okay. We got the dodgy candle over here. So potentially we're going to have a, another push to the downside. And uh, if we score this one, we're going to be close. Well, we're going to be 996. So we're going to be at break even points. But seems like this one potentially is going to be a good winner. Even though volume is getting weak. All right. So we're not going to place any more trades. Because from here, potentially price will be reversing to the upside. Or maybe not. This candle is pushing down. Okay. 994. Let's have a look around and let's see if we can find more opportunities. This one looks bearish. Yeah, this one looks very bearish. But it's oversold. Hmm. Yeah, potentially will be a good one, but the candles are small, so I'm not going to touch it. This one already started. Okay, this one right here looks interesting. Let me have a look. Yeah, it looks bearish, but um, uh, you can see the price is hovering very close to the 50 SMA. So we might not see a further jump. So we're going to leave it as it is. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, this one um, seems like it's on a downtrend potentially will continue to go down let me have a look the candles again are small it might take some time for the price to crank up this one we are already late for the party 
this no the volume is decreasing okay this one potentially will go up because we can see the volume is decreasing candles are getting smaller so this one might be a good call to the upside um let's wait for the next candle so potentially the next candle is going to be we're going to have a red bar over here and if we do then um, yeah we'd be good to go six seconds hmm, still got a red bar over there but i strongly believe the price will have a continuation to the upside okay so if we win this one we're going to be our balance is going to be graded in 10 bucks so let me try to place a few more trades so we can crank up the balance another red bar but it's on the upside 28 seconds okay there you go big push right there so it seems like this uh this one is going to be clear this trade is going to be cleared and uh, we're going to be able to update our excel spreadsheet or maybe not three seconds this is a very tiny candle there we go 1064 so we're going to go 10.64 so now we're going to play with 10 1.06 1.1.06 right there you know it's small um figures at the beginning but as we go along you know our trading balance will start to build up if you know we make this right and uh, we make good trades so not much is going on over here let's go back to the beginning so signal is very very weak as well as a very small candle so i would avoid it at all cost okay this one also has very small candles so don't touch that this one has too many dodgy candles so don't touch that uh, um, um. yeah seems like we got too many uh, small candles around okay never look two minute chart right yeah we are in the uptrend so potentially this one will have a continuation to the upside we got some bullish momentum right there uh let me go for two minutes because we might see a slight pullback well i'm not going to risk it because uh, we are already late for the party and uh, a good entry would be around here unless the price comes closer to the 7 sma if it does we will then place a trade but in the meantime let's flick around okay this one looks bearish signal is very red as you can see right there uh, we got it in late a few more seconds and we would got that one okay uh, we got a crossover here in the stochastic we got a dodgy candle over here quickly pick the two minute charts this is the one that is trading very close to the 50 sma okay it's not going down all right no problem we're gonna keep browsing and let's see what's up this one is going down keep going up this one potentially is going to go down potentially let's go over two minutes okay two minutes we got lots of red bars over here but it's on the uptrend so the chances to go down are minimal so we are going to place a high end entry if the price comes back to the 7 sma a little bit right there okay 
so we got one entry over here so if the price comes below we got second entry and i'm expecting the price to continue to the upside but seems like it's not going to go that way okay we got this red bar over here but like I said, like I showed you on a two minute chart, it looks like the price will have a continuation to the upside. So we are still bullish on the upside. Place another trade right there. Remember, we can only place 10 trades, all right? So if you, play, if you fail 10 trades in a row, that means game over. So when you play in this um, strategy, I wouldn't say strategy, but gamble, uh, gamble a certain amount of, of funds you can only gamble 10 times okay because we are investing 10 percent of our balance every time that we place a trade right so we gotta or, or we have to try to be pure right so we are in the uptrend strong uptrend that's why i didn't place a um, lower entry so we got 20 seconds to go and keep in mind i'm playing this like i would play with real money okay but because i never done this uh, gamble before, I'm just testing out my demo accounts. And at the same time, I'm practicing my strategy. So it's a win-win for me. Okay, we got three seconds. And uh, we got a new balance. So 12.86. So we're going to come over here. 12.86. Huh? Right there. So let me clear this. There you go. So now it's not going to mess no more. So now the new balance is 10% is 129. So 1.29. There you go. So let's go for the next opportunity. Okay. So far, so good. All good. We already missed this one. Mm, very small candles go back to the beginning very small candles okay this one is pumping let's have a look at the two minute chart okay two minute chart we are on the uptrend or we were on the uptrend but this one over here failed to break the previous previous high so the signal is very bearish over here we are oversold so potentially this might be a good one it might have a small pump before I have a continuation to the downside all right so we're going to keep an eye on this one In the meantime let's have a look around okay this one looks good so I'm going to explain to you why. We can see over here lots of green bars. Okay, so that's a, a bullish momentum. We can see the stochastic um, is about to do a crossover. And uh, we are on the uptrend. If we flick to the two-minute price chart, we can see mm, we're not in a completely uptrend, but we can see bullish momentum right there. Okay. So I decided to take the gamble and uh, see how it goes. But because we have this, uh, there was a red bar over here. So I wouldn't place any more trades because of that red bar. So potentially the price um, will pump a little bit more before come back down and have a continuation to the downside. But because we got this dodgy candle over here, I decided to place those two trades over here. Another red bar over here. So that's a sign that the trend is about to shift. Okay, so 14.74, 14.74, right there, so 147 now, 1.47, so we are nearly making two X's, uh, let's have a look around, okay, so this one even though it's coming down, we can see that we have a green bar over there. So we most likely are in a strong uptrend. Yes, we are on the uptrend, as you can see right here. 
and um, price might come so if you draw a zone over here we could say the price might come to this zone Wait. Uh, background like this so price might come to this zone before have a continuation to the upside okay so if not cool we're going to take a higher entry on this one we can see stochastic potentially going to have a crossover there you go right there so we're going to place an, an higher position and we're going to ride with this one so we got green bars over there but then again uh price might come and test this area before have a continuation to the upside we'll see let's see how this next kind is going to close and uh, we'll make a decision from there if you take another higher entry or you know just leave it alone altogether okay we got another green candle over there but signal is getting very weak though so potentially price will go down we got doji candle over here so seems like um, price will come down we got one entry over here We're gonna lose this first one. It's gone. Even though we have this bullish uh, red bar over here, bearish red bar over here, uh, we still have a green momentum. Okay. So right now, I could say that this is a risky trade. So price is in two minds, but I strongly believe that this one is gonna be a winner before we move on. This is just a small pullback before price have a continuation to the upside so we got 21 seconds to go so let's hope that we can clear this one we can see that the momentum still bullish okay so if you win this one it's going to be a very close call so let's wait and see what happens so three seconds boom so 14.52 no we still maintain the same balance because we lost one yes and uh, let's have a look around let's look for more opportunities so this one okay this one potentially will go down but mm -mm. signals volume still bullish okay so I wouldn't place a lower entry right now so let's have a look around okay volume is decreasing but it might not go too low okay so very small candles don't touch it small candles over here even though everything indicates the price will come down but looks like we are on the uptrend looks like we're gonna have a small pullback before continuation but yeah, candles are very small, weak, weak volume, so nah, not going to trade it, especially against the trend. Oh, you can barely see the candles, only dodgy candles over here. Damn. Okay, volume is very weak. Um, I hate when you got small candles. okay we had a dump let's have a look at the two minute chart yeah two minute chart looks good we had a small pullback so potentially price will have a continuation to the upside what we're going to do right now we're going to wait for the next candle if the next candle turns green we will then place a two minute trade because these candles are very small all right so we got to give some leeway just to make sure that we secure our profits so let's see if we got a green bar no still a red bar right there but we got a crossover mm. i'm not gonna touch it 
Leave it alone. We'll find more opportunities. Too late already. Too late already. This one, we got some bearish momentum. So, nope. All right, let's see if we find more opportunities. Okay, this one that we were watching is going down. So we are late for that one. Very small candle, so don't try it. Doo -doo -doo. Not much is going on right now, because, um, I mean... Candles are very small, so it makes it super hard to trade. Okay, as you can see, very small candles. Very small candles. So it makes a trade, trading se session very risky. Okay, so this one potentially will go up. Ah, we are in the uptrend, but pri price is very close to the 50 SMA. So that means the swings, they're not going to be that big. Hence, we're having a small candles. Seems like there is not much going on. No. Yeah, not much is going on. What time is it? 15 o'clock. Yeah, not much is going on. He sucks. Seems like they picked the wrong time to start trading, to start this challenge. This one looks like it's going to go up. Okay, we are in the uptrend. We got the volume right there. You just had this small pullback. So potentially, we got a green bar candle over here. So we're going to wait for the next one. And uh, we're going to see a crossover over here in a stochastic. Potentially, the next bar is going to be flat or slightly green. Okay, not not green at all. Still red. Still red. So that means the bearish momentum is still here. So we got to be careful with that. We're going to keep an eye on this one. Which one is it? GBP. Is it this one? Yeah, this one right here. So as you can see right here, momentum still bearish. And we got a dodgy candle over there. going to push this one to the front. So I can keep an eye on it. Okay, so we still got bearish momentum. So let me have a quick look at the two minute chart. Right, so we reached the overbought level. So potentially we're gonna go down. So let's see if the price pulls back a little bit more so we can uh, place a lower entry. Because it's not going up, then we're gonna go down with it, right? Oh, 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 it's not gonna pull anymore. Now we got some bearish candles. We're bearish, bearish, bearish. Yes. But unfortunately, I didn't place any trades. God damn it. Okay, we got one trade going on. I might be a bit too late for this trade, but uh, I decided to gamble anyway. Because that's a straw, that's a bearish. Those two mm. candles are very bearish. So potentially the price will have a continuation to the downside. We'll keep pushing down. So we are going to roll with this bearish momentum. I need to put my PC on charge. Otherwise, the battery will go flat. Okay, we got 30 seconds. Still got the bearish momentum right there. Yeah, as you can see, I entered a bit late. But I strongly believe that this is going to be a winner. Let me just put the charger. There you go. Okay, we got six seconds to go. It seems like we secured that trade. Beautiful. Okay, 15.71. So 15.71. Right now we're going to gamble 157. Okay. Let's look for the, uh, the next opportunity. Mm -mm. So this one's still dumping. So finally, we are seeing some movement in the market. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's 15 o'clock. I don't know. 
but finally the market starting to move to the downside yeah everything is dumping mm -mm -mm. okay definitely not this one this one doesn't look good no we got some bearish momentum right there so now we're gonna try again later mm -mm. okay this one the volume is decreasing let's have a look volume also decreasing over here Mm -mm. but we are in strong uptrend so i'm not gonna go against the trend it might be just a small pullback so we're on a downtrend on this one so potentially this one will have a continuation to the downside we still have lots of room to go so yeah this one might be the next trade opportunity so let's see how this candle is going to close and then from there oh i forgot to update over here so it's 157 now 1.57 right there okay we're still bearish so we got one trade over here we got another one there so usually dodgy candle represents a shift in the trend okay so we got this red dodgy candle over here but the price is still pushing a little bit up which is not great but this the the volume is still bearish still bearish volume okay we can see right there so everything indicates that potentially price will have a continuation to the downside but uh seems like it's not going to be in this candle or the next one okay so we potentially will gonna miss we're gonna lose these two trades and um yeah we might have to wait a little bit longer so it seems like i've rushed into this one you know i was getting excited yeah the price is gonna go down but you know you just gotta be patient right even though this is dummy money you gotta play like it's real okay so we lost two, those two okay um yeah it sucks but we're gonna keep going so we got eight more tries mm, let's have a look around this one's still going down let's have a look at two minutes okay still on the uptrend yeah, potentially it's gonna be a good call position. We got the green the green bar over there. So let's just wait for the price to come close or as close as possible to the seven SMA. So you can place a trade. Stochastic um took off from the 20 level, which is a good sign. Okay, we're gonna go in. We got a bullish bar over there so we lost two trades so we need to make at least three or four trades out of this one but the price doesn't look like it's gonna go below this uh entry point so at least we're gonna maintain um we're gonna recoup some funds and gonna be able to continue the game okay another bullish volume right there so let's see how it goes 24 seconds mm -mm -mm -mm. oh it's peaking right there so i decided to place another trade so you got nine seconds on the first one yes we got that one cool that was right at the bottom that was a good call okay 
So let's see how this one's gonna play out. So if you score this one, it's gonna be 14, like 15 something. And uh, we need to be graded in like 1570. So we need to place probably another trade in order to uh, be in a green and update our Excel spreadsheet. So 16 seconds to go. Let's hope that we can clear this one too. 11 seconds. But yeah, it seems like price is going to have a continuation to the upside, which is good, which is what we want. We're not expecting it. Cool. That one is in a bag. All right. Let's have a look around and let's see if we can find more opportunities. Okay. Right. This one is failing. So we are were an uptrend. It failed to break this uh, local high right here. And seems like now we're going to have a consolidation before have a continuation to the downside. So we're going to keep an eye on this one. Let's have a look at this one. Two minutes. Okay. We are in a strong uptrend. Cool. So this one potentially is going to be a good one to go up. Mm -mm. I'm in two minds about this one. Even though the volume is here, I'm in two minds about it because I don't like these two candles. So let's wait for the next candle. Let's see what's up. Mm -mm, two seconds okay well i'm gonna go for it looks good so i'm gonna go for it because uh, if you just think about it and uh, don't take any action then you're just gonna miss the opportunity altogether so just place two trades over here so let's see how this one's gonna play out and um, if all goes well if the momentum continues then we will be able to secure these two trades and uh, if you secure these two trades, you're going to make 580. So we're going to be graded in uh, 16 bucks. So we're going to be able to update this Excel spreadsheet and um, update the trading amounts. So 15 seconds on the next trade, on the first trade. Ooh, ooh, it's hovering too much, so I'm not going to place any more trades if the price comes below this level. Okay, we got the first one, and it seems like we're going to have the second one. Yeah, yeah, so 17.77, 17.77. By the way, guys, over here is 20 trades, okay? So if all goes well, once we get to 20, uh, 25, I mean, so if once we get to 25, uh, we're going to be probably three to four X our investment. Okay, let's continue. So we nearly two X our investment. And we are just using the strategy that I taught you yesterday. Again, this strategy is good on real market. Okay, this one looks very bearish, but candles are very, very small. Ooh. You can barely see those candles, but uh, I got these two green bars over here. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go because um, it can be too risky. So let's look around and let's see if we can find more opportunities. So 40 minute session already, and we made 77 percent cool uh, i wish when i go to real i would have the same results okay this one seems like it's gonna go down let me have a quick look at the two minute chart everything looks bearish over here volume is getting very weak and it's shifting from red to green so potentially it's not going to be a good a big push to the downside so we're gonna avoid it altogether. This one in two minutes, uh, it's pumping. Okay, so we're not gonna go down. Let's go back.
So this one we are in strong up trend as I recall. Yes, we are. But um we got one shoulder right here, we got one head, we got one shoulder right here. So potentially the price now will consolidate before go down. So we missed this one probably. We still got some uh, bullish momentum. So we're not gonna trade that one. This one relates. Okay, this one, the volume is shifting. You can see that we are in a downtrend. Yeah, we can see the stochastic is gonna cross over. So yeah, this one might be a good one. Let's see if we can catch it right over here. Okay, we got one entry right there. Okay. Okay, we got 10 seconds on this trade that I just placed. All right, even though it's 69%, uh, we cleared it. Cool. So 18.85. So 18.85. And now we play with 1.89. Nearly two bucks, 1.89. Huh? 1.89. There you go. So that's 10%. Oh, I can actually, <laughs> I can actually come over here and just press 10%. Right? So silly me. But anyway, um, let's look for the next trading session. Trading opportunity. This one is only 50%. So we're not gonna okay this one the volume is decreasing so potentially this one is gonna be a cool one okay we got bearish volume right there all right we got dodgy kind of over here um this candle kind of, this bar over here I was expecting to be red but it didn't turn red so we potentially gonna wait one more candle to see what happens and um if this bar turns red, then I will place a lower entry because stochastic already on a downtrend, but the volume, the the the, um, the volume of the the candles is very small. As you can see, dodgy candle, dodgy candle. So signal is definitely decreasing. So seems like the price will go down, but at the same time, it can take some time. So I'm gonna skip this one altogether. Okay, this one is in two months, but the uh, payout is 49%, so we're going to skip that one. This one, the signal is very weak. Okay, this one, um, two-minute chart. We're still on a strong uptrend, right? But we got the volume right there. So it can be a risky trade, so we're not going to place any lower entry. Let's have a look around. And let's see what's up. This one we already late. Okay. Yeah, we are on the uptrend. We can see right there. So we're gonna wait for the next candle, and hopefully the next bar is gonna be green. If the next bar is green, we'll then go high. So 189. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, it's not totally green, but we got some uh, green bars, green, green candles over here. So that's showing us that the price is going to have a continuation to the upside. But we still have some bearish momentum. So we got to be careful. So I'm going to wait for the next candle and see what's up. So hopefully the next bar is going to be green. And then from there, we will place our entry once the price comes closer to the 7 SMA. Still not green, but the price is getting flat. So we're going to go in anyway, because otherwise, just going to miss the opportunity altogether. Oh, damn it. I wanted to catch the entry a bit lower, but let's go with the, with the flow. So we got 48 seconds to go. Let's go one over here. And let's see how it goes. 
So we got three trade three trades going on. You know, the two minute price chart looks bullish, okay? Hence we are placing higher entries. And as you can see right here, the volume is getting very, very weak. And then potentially the next one is gonna be green bars, okay? So hopefully you're gonna be able to clear these three trades. 20 23 and 32 seconds and we're going to make 963 if we do that then we're going to be 2x our initial investment okay which is great right so in 45 minutes we made 2x so five seconds on the first one we still got a, a bearish uh, bar right there surprisingly right but we're still pushing uh sometimes the momentum has delays okay so we got those two so hopefully we're gonna have this one and we're gonna make our first two x okay so from here now potentially everything's gonna be a breeze so 22.81 so 22.81 so 228 is gonna be 2.28 cool all right so let's go ahead and look for the next opportunity okay let's have a look at the two minute chart ah this is bearish so it's not advisable to go against the trend so we're going to leave it as it is and we can see the volume is still here as well so potentially this is going to have a continuation to the downside so we just placed a lower entry okay we're still going we got 18 seconds to go um i made a mistake this video is going to be a little bit longer than i was expected <laughs> and i'm not sure if i'm gonna put some music on i'm just gonna leave my voice over whatever and uh so you can hear my um my thoughts about it okay 24.63 24.63 so 246 2.46 let's go for the next trading opportunity okay this one over here looks interesting let me just move, move this thing looks interesting because we can see this is an area where the price hits many times and gets rejected okay we can see over here rejected 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 and done and now it's coming back once more so uh we're going to be on the lookout for dodgy candles so once we see a dodgy candle we will then place our entry because it seems like price is going to try to break through um this resistant area one more time and um if it doesn't happen then we're going to place we're going to write down okay so as you can see right here we already made uh 150 percent i think or 100 percent more than 100 percent because uh, we start with 10 bucks now we are 24.63 it takes time but you know patience is key right if you got the right strategy you can um power through and make your gains so right now we just want to look out for this one so let's see what's going to happen we can see already the volume is decreasing over here we can see the candles are getting close to each other you know they're not cl closing any any above the nest okay so potentially this one or the next one if we're going to see a pullback we will see a dodgy candle okay so this candle right here that we are looking for we can see another one over here we can see another one over here okay that's the candle that we are looking for and uh, once we see that candle that's going to be the confirmation that the price we will then um, have a pullback okay this candle is pushing all right so you reach the top of the level so let's see what's going to happen if we are going to see a continuation to the upside or um, a slight pullback like we saw over here before price continues to go up so right now um price is fighting around this area okay so potentially this one is going to be our dodgy candle and then uh, once this candle closes if it closes in red you know then i will place my lower entry because um, i will strongly believe <clears throat> even though the, the trend is up 
I will strongly believe that we will have a pullback. <laughs> Excuse me. So we got eight seconds to go. Let's see how it's going to play out. Yeah, definitely going to be a dodgy candle. So it wasn't a red dodgy candle, but um, I think that will do. So I'm going to place one trade right now. So let's see how the trade is going to play out. 50 seconds. Okay, we got three seconds to go on these trades, and we got it in the bag. <clears throat> so 26.55, and we can see that the pullback is already forming. So 26.55, so 2.66. Let's go. Uh, 66, and there you get the idea by now how, well, hopefully you get the idea by now how to trade with this strategy. Okay, guys, so this one potentially is going to be our next um, entry. So let's have a quick look at the two-minute price chart. We can see that we are in strong uptrend, even though we got the red bar over there. Let's have a look at the 30 seconds. Okay, the volume is still negative. Okay, so we are still in red, even though we are getting a green bar, green candles. So in this case, we just have to wait until the momentum shifts to green so we start seeing green bars and then once we see green bars that's when we place the trade okay but right now um seems like the pullback hasn't finished yet so we're going to keep browsing and let's see how it's going to play out okay we can see that this one played out nicely uh let me flick it to the two minute price chart so we can have a look we can understand we can see that the price reached this level a few times and got rejected. And once more, it got rejected in this area. So it's having another pullback. So potentially, the price will try one more time. Right now, uh, we're going to wait for the pullback to finish. And once the pullback is over and we are starting to see a shift in the momentum, then we will place a um, higher entry, okay? Because uh, we, get, we can see a crossover on the stochastic and but we still have momentum over here okay so it's not going to get any bigger so potentially price will go down a little bit more but right now it's risky because uh, i don't want to gamble on this one because price can go either way so what i'm going to do i'm going to just hold on and once i got a confirmation that the price go up because the two minute price chart looks like the price is going up okay so we're gonna look for higher entries in the meantime let's have a look around potentially i'm going to wrap this session up because i've been trading for an hour or close to an hour all right <clears throat> and i've got some stuff to do but um you can see that the strategy itself works if you if you do your proper ta okay this one right here is the one we traded right there reach this target this level and went we got rejected so if you do your ta properly you will then uh, <clears throat> you should be fine with this uh, specific strategy okay but again just practice as much as i can as you can like i'm doing right now so i'm practicing even though i'm familiar with the strategy i am practicing because the more i trade uh, the better i will become because i will start to get more familiar with charts patterns and everything else so it will give me better um better experience okay right now everything is dumping so we're just gonna have a look out so let's uh make this balance to 30 bucks okay so once we reach 30 bucks then uh, i'm gonna call it a day and i can say that i've made 2x well 3x from our from my initial investment okay the goal is 10x but 10x probably is gonna take me two hours two hours to make those 10 x's but as you can see steady away it is possible okay this one is consolidating as you can see right here even though we got bearish momentum uh, we have some green candles that means price is reacting to this area okay this is an area of interest that's why i got this red box over here because it's bearish box if it was a green box it would be um uh, support level but this one right here is a resistant level so price is reacting and we have 
a green candle over here so potentially price will try to power through this area so let's uh, let's see how this candle is going to close and potentially i'm going to place a trade on this one and uh, most likely going to see the trade up the, the chart breaking through this um, area of resistance so four seconds let's see how the candle is going to close it's pushing it's pushing okay it's pushing uh seems like we're missing out while we're talking so let's go and push those trades up we got four trades going on so hopefully we're going to be able to secure these four trades and um, wrap this video up okay so if you secure these trades we're going to make 18 bucks so we're going to be at 13 or four at uh, uh 34 bucks okay so this is a very bullish candle Ooh, some really really fat candles that's what we want to see as you can see it's trying to power through this uh resistance level we have 22 seconds on the first one hopefully we're going to be able to clear all these four trades and i can say that i've made three x's with this trading strategy and again i'm going to back test it so this is back testing to me okay because i'm applying applying my strategy i'm testing out like i was i would test with real money okay because this is what, what i'm planning to do once i reach 210 bucks gamble my 10 bucks with this particular strategy okay we cleared all those three uh four trades so 34.43 okay so we can place 34.43 so we can say that it took us a few attempts right so from 10 bucks we made uh 24 bucks point 43 cents so that means we made 243 percent okay because we're not counting our initial balance 243 percent in just one hour when was the first um uh session was 1429 1439 so in 70 minutes we made 240 percent okay and uh it, it failed to break through seems like it's gonna go down once more okay and um, you get the idea that's the strategy okay guys what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wrap this video up and um, on the next trading session i'm going to continue demo mode so i'm going to go live because i still have to make my daily profits but then i'm going to continue this um uh session with the demo account and i'm going to left i'm going to continue where i'm going to leave right now so 3.44 that's the new balance okay and as you can see right now now we are powering through and the numbers are getting bigger and bigger okay so once we get to like five bucks it will be five six seven eight nine ten in no time so this is 25 trades okay so if all goes well so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay we got eleven so we're halfway through well almost halfway through so we got 14 more trades so in 11 we did 3x so over here probably going to do four to six x okay so that being said we'll be able to make 10 x's in four and in, in 25 trading pairs okay but yes i'm gonna wrap this session for now because like i said i've got stuff to do but tomorrow or so whenever i got time i'm gonna continue my trading session with this balance over here and the next trading amount is going to be 344 so let me know what you guys think about this strategy and also let me know what do you think about um this trading session was it fun let me know if there is something else that i should improve in this trading session and uh yeah thank you for watching stay tuned in for the next one peace